Another application of Avita is Avita News. And this is an interface between a uh, newsroom computer system and a video server. And the video server can be any professional video server. We provide the interface, the user interface, and the technical interface to make news easier. So, Chris, let's have a look at Active News. Okay, we can enter Active News from the home page. On the bottom right hand side, we can see the multi channel ABCD. We click on that, and we are presented currently with four channels. Okay. Which is how it's supposed to be. No, that's fine. That's, that's fine. So, this is a display of, of the status of four channels. Yes. Now, the source of this uh, information that will be in here when we import it is the, uh, in this case, ENPS, that we can interface to iNews and other news systems. Absolutely. So the rundown from the news system, I believe, goes into Avita? That's correct. And so we are how do you do that, then? We are able to access this from the iPanel. So the iPanel on the bottom left-hand side pops up, and you can see the MOS rundown button. If we click on the MOS rundown button, we can see the current... Uh, run, running orders that are presented by the ENPS system okay. or INU system okay. uh, and we select the running order and we can see the contents and if we want to load it we press MOS load rundown ok so that's a list of clips that have come in from the, the rundown on the new system there's a list of clips in the rundown the clips are now into Avita Avita allows the operator to manipulate those clips by changing the channel and the status of the clip will be fed back to the display the news system has. So, Chris, show me what you can do with those clips. Oh, as you say, we can actually change which channel that each of these clips are going to be played out on by clicking on this button here so on each of the clips, and it will uh, present us with the uh, channels that are available to us. Where, where did the original channels come from? Uh, these channels can be uh, presented from the ENPS system, or we can dictate... Uh, a an order ourselves. Okay, all right. Uh, and once this is uh, loaded on, then we can see that these clips are currently available, and they're on the server. We can actually click on each of these clips and then play them out. So, okay, what happens now? You, you, you're playing the clip from here. What does the guy in the news system see? How does he know what's going on? Okay, so there is a status uh, return from Avita to the ENPS system to indicate its current status, whether it is in a, a queued state or a playing state, or if the clip has ended. Okay, so the director's got a view of what's going on then? Absolutely. Excellent. Okay, Chris, so we've got, we've got uh, the Avita news working on the screen there with a the mouse, that's great. What about operators who want a hardware panel, something more tactile to feel? Well, we actually present to the user uh, a hardware panel in our HD614 assign range and this is fully programmable from Avita and in this instance we have set out four channels cons consecutively A, B, C and D so when a clip is loaded on the, on the GUI we can actually play that clip out by pressing the button and we get the status so you have status on the panel on yeah. the screen and on the new system. Absolutely. So we have a list of clips, we have a hardware panel to control those clips. What happens if we delete a clip? What, what Can we delete and modify that list? You say play and stop and so on, what else can you do? Uh, we do not have the ability to actually go deleting the clips from the running order because we, we respect the ENPS or INU system to be the master. Oh, okay, okay. Well, uh, the last minute change is if we needed to actually drag a, a, a clip from our the server system we can actually do that and that becomes an ad hoc clip okay chris thank you that's the vita news okay thank you